Ooh, we've got a little flagger on our save file now. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Day 8, of course. Let's go! It's the day of the tournament! Oh, wait, am I gonna go back in the bed and then pop back out again? Or... Okay, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure. Just wanted to be sure for kicks. Alright, so it's finally time for the well-worn grove open. Oh, man. TV crews and everything. We're blocking the camera, man. <laughs> Is this where I sign up? Uh, he didn't quite get all the instruction like. The voice was a little weak, sure. He really needs to turn those vocal cords on if he's going to succeed here today. I disagree. You could play golf completely silent. <laughs> Still, not too bad. Better than most. <laughs> Excuse me? I think these are the TV uh, reporters that we've seen on our TV at home. Yes, you sign up here. <laughs> hey, honey! You again! I think that one surprised him, Mike. Yes, he certainly wasn't expecting the vengeful wife at 10 years. Oh, the wife! <laughs> so that's who she is. But that's why you gotta say, you've gotta focus on that course management. You should have identified the hazard from the back of the queue, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, Tucker. He's found the trouble, that's for sure. Now we'll see what his recovery game is like. What are you doing here? We've come to cheer you on. Wait, not to see me fail? Right, Tobias? Tobias! Uh, too right. As your wife, I'm entitled to a good portion of your winnings. Oh, she's that sort of wife. I want a divorce now before I win the tournament. <laughs> Tobias is going to start a new prone tone thingy, so play well for us. Arrgh. And he's duffed it again, Mike. He was simply not prepared for today, Tucker. Without question. This is just embarrassing. He's going into this tournament at a major deficit today, Tucker. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. He has certainly won the watch here today at the well-worn Grove Open. Go speak to the starter when you're ready, kid. Okay, but I bet you there's a lot of people to chat to. We're here on the first, or maybe not. <laughs> we're here on the first tee today. I mean, we're here on the first tee with somebody very special, Mike. Right you are, Tucker. I see pink there. Lana, this one is showing some promise indeed. So if you don't mind us asking, miss, what exactly is your game plan going into today? She probably has no game plan. Well, Tucker, first I'm going to bring up the selfishness of his actions and how he's hurting his family. From there, I will move on to, sh on to shaming his golfing abilities. <laughs> I also have a wealth of knowledge of his past failures. Solid plan indeed. <laughs> Did you scooch out of the way, Missy? So she was he wasn't talking to Lana. I know all his strengths and weaknesses, Tucker. I'm looking to close this one out early here today at the Wellhorn Open. <laughs> She's gonna taunt us in submission. And I assure you that at the end of the day, Tobias and I will be leaving with at least half of those winnings. Dang it! Well, you've been in perfect form so far, other than that impending divorce. Let's hope that continues. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's yours to lose out there today. I'd say good luck, but I hardly think you need it. Thanks, Tucker. <laughs> Any always a pleasure. And Lana's off! A good shot, right off the bat. Wow! What a great interview! Oh! <laughs> I can't believe we got it on camera. Talk of all, lucky. Okay, take your shot now, Lara. Dot 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 dot, I bet. <laughs> poor, poor girl. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're immediately getting into the tournament. <laughs> Let's see what the course has been turned into with the uh, new grassy areas. I presume it's just like a bunch of deep rough and stuff like that all over the place. And Oh, I didn't switch my clubs. Well, ah, whatever, whatever. We'll be just fine, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that was a bad start on my angle there. I mean, uh, my miss hit there, and I'm gonna get mold, aren't I, because of that. Yeah, probably gonna plot me in the bunker. Oh, I was right! <laughs> right in the center of it. That's okay, I still only got one, 137 to go, so I could probably pull that off on the next shot. I'll do a little bit of that. Get over the tree and stop my ball nice and quick. 
little miss hit again on the impact zone. It should be okay. Better than okay, actually. <laughs> okay, I'll, I will take that. I'm in first place already. Oh, Lucky's in this. Uh, how many other players we got here? Just to see, because sometimes there's the scientist. Is that the mini golf guy? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Tom's dad. Tom's dad. <laughs> just don't don't have his first name. Just Tom's dad. Okay. <laughs> In second hole. I am already losing hope in the rest of the competition based on how I played that, but let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm, if I go for the mole, I wonder if it'll actually take it to the hole and it counts as like an out of bounds or something like that, I don't know. I'll just lay it up short to where the mole is and call it a shot. Nice little safety... Uh, I said short of the mole! <laughs> I tried being safe. Well, okay, that one puts it in the bunker. Okay, well, now we know what that one does. Actually, maybe we, I hit that mole before by mistake. Oh, well, we're okay. It's just a short shot to the hole anyway. Oops, not the putter. Nah, we're not gonna do that again. We're not, we're not beginner mode again. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Yeah, I think, well, I mean, I don't know. I'll, oh, that might be too much back. Well, I can always putt. We'll see. <laughs> or I can just get it in the hole. <laughs> Come on! That's I'm not trying to do that, honestly. I, I'm trying to get close, but it's just working out so well. <laughs> All right. So, so that way, that actually, that's the second time I eagle birth both the first and second holes that way, wasn't it? Well, in certain ways, like that. In because you know I already had eagles on there before from that match that I had, and yeah. <laughs> Anyway, nice shot to the center of the fairway. I don't know if I can get this par 5 and 2 now. Uh, nah, I didn't think so. So I'm gonna lay up, not hit the mole in the head. Actually, I think the ball will just go through the mole like it did before. And this should happily roll outside the red circle. Very nice. That is course management 101. Although that mole over there... That, that could be a dangerous mole there. Uh, just as long as I don't, don't get too far to the left, I should be alright. So I'm gonna exaggerate my shot against the wind there. And make sure it stays towards the... Come on! I, <laughs> I said I was gonna exaggerate so it goes on the right side of the green, but... No, it'll, it'll just go in the hole! Sure, why not? <laughs> Could you imagine if my entire round goes this way? That would just be absurd. Is that a two, two-sided green? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> just go back there and hope that I don't overhit. There we go. Because I just want to use the rough to slow my ball down. Ba -ba -da, and no, oh, it did not go. Or it did not land at the angle that I thought it was gonna land. That's okay. Uh, okay, this is a lot harder of a shot. I will give the game that. Okay, I'm gonna aim for getting it past the hole, if at all possible, and on the green. Okay? Okay. Not in the hole, just past the hole. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. It, it didn't go in, because if it went in, I swear, I would just run around the neighborhood naked or something like that in celebration. <laughs> Alrighty, so everyone's shooting over par except for me, as at least it looks like it from the leaderboard there. So Lucky isn't even that lucky, at least in comparison to long form chipping or <laughs> just approach shot, I guess you could say eagles. You kind of can't beat that consistently. <laughs> Oh I, oh, I didn't know about that other mole up there. Hmm, well, it still worked out. I'm between the moles. And now... I'm gonna go under the ball, of course. Somewhere like there, I think, a landing area is safe. 
Probably. I, it shouldn't go over if I hit it that short, right? 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 I was wrong. So, yeah, that new rough on the course is indeed deep rough. <laughs> uh, just, just try and get a nice little bump and run shot going here. Oh, wait, no, no. Top spin, that's right. And I want to go precision mode. That's... Actually, maybe I should go way back in the clubs. Because precision mode is uh, n not as precise as I would prefer for my timing. Okay. Really quick on the tapping. E -e oh, nailed it. Okay, will it go in though? We'll we shall see. Oh. Oh, that did not go nearly as far as I thought it would. Well, I'm still... I mean, I'm just in the rough, so I think this time I'm just going to putt it. Let's go a little bit past the mark. There we go. Can't eagle them all, right? <laughs> Oh, I still gotta get a birdie badge on a whole five anyway. Ah, poopers. Ah, poopers. Ah, poopers. Oh, I can aim for a birdie badge on a whole nine at least. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, this looks like it'll... Oh, I can actually drive the green? Cool. <laughs> there we go. Wait, no. Maybe I should let it roll out all the way to the back. Although that could go in the water. Uh, well, let's first curve it the way that I wanted to. Maybe maybe I'll try with backspin and just land it in the rough. Just just to be safe. Because I don't want to go into the flow. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, oh, that's actually a... That didn't roll out anywhere close to as, thought, as far as I thought it would. Well, um... Uh-oh. Uh, um, I wouldn't call this an eagle chance, especially with the slope in that direction. Uh, can I chip? Yes, yes I can! I will chip on the green. That is something that you can do IRL. But it's not recommended because you'll chew up the green. But this is golf story and we don't care about the green. <laughs> it leaves a divot there. Okay, there we go. I will consider that a two putt. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Yeah, happy days. Yo! I, uh, I think I'm gonna win this tournament, guys. <laughs> it's, it sure looks like it, unless Lucky is going to, uh, uh, oh, I not also noticed Rick's mate. Uh, there, yeah, it's, so it's not really his first name either, but I think I think I'm gonna win this, because I see one on, one over, two over, three over, unless those are... Total strokes or I know I couldn't be no because yeah the whole through hole nine, I, like they didn't all just finish over par did they? Nah, I guess they did because they're all on hole nine and I okay I I don't think I'm gonna shoot over par here or let alone even par. <laughs> yeah, why would I think that that's total strokes? I don't know. I mean they already started so of course they're gonna have more than one shot. I'm just. I'm being stupid. <laughs> anyway, let's win this tournament. Woo! In fact, we probably already technically have it won. We could probably just stub our ball around the course, like get sevens on the next couple holes and still win it. Uh, um, uh, yeah, that looks like a good landing area for the rollout. Oh wait, actually, that might go in the bunker now that I underhit it. Ooh, oh, it kicked le way left. Well, that looks like it's gonna be straight uphill based on the slope. So, so, I guess I haven't hit uphill up with this much slope before. I'm gonna take a guess and say three quarters. That was not close. <laughs> That's inexperience right there. <laughs> That's all right. Be parred. We're good to go. Yeah, those scores aren't changing now, so we are off to the next hole. And as long as we just par everything, we've won. But I'm still gonna aim for that birdie on the last hole for the sake of birdie badges. Uh oh, that too deep rough in the middle of the fairway. You you need to cut the lawn here. I'm gonna cut back on that a little bit there. There we go. I didn't even bother with the precision mode because I figured I could just kind of wing it there. It's a lot of fair way to guesstimate my landing on. And uh, 
gonna go with the usual flow of the spin. Uh, precision mode, go back a little bit. And let her rip. Woo! But will it go in? I doubt it. <laughs> it's all hit the flight though. <laughs> Alrighty. Can I do this? Can I make this tiny putts? If I couldn't make that tiny putt, I'd be very worried. <laughs> Alright, 900 through 8 holes, and this is the hole that I'm aiming for a birdie on. Well, beside hole 5. I might just do like a practice round and uh, grab that birdie badge and show you the results of it or something like that later on. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see, because there might be like a, a way to get those birdie badges individually, like maybe through a practice mode or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but I will get all, get them all eventually. I'm just more focused on, you know, progressing the story, seeing stuff that's new and stuff like that, and like the quests and whatnot, so... Yeah! Okay, my, my aim here is gonna be, of course, to land it in the rough as usual, but since I don't have much green to work with, I'm gonna play off to the left side of it and hope that I get a nice... Land out. Uh, oh yeah! Why did I kick so far left when it landed in the rough? That wasn't. Well, I guess. I guess technically there would be a little bit of slope in that direction off. The, wait, this is deep rough, but it's not in that bluish colored grass. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but yeah, I guess maybe because the the slope. No wait, no, the slope is kicked off and to the right. It shouldn't have went to the left, unless the slope is different over. No, so it shouldn't have went in that direction. I don't know that. I don't know why it kicked left upon landing. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and see what we can do about our. Oh wait, I, I chose the putter. Beginner mistake again. <laughs> I was like, why didn't the cursor go back for a second to the impact zone? I was like, nope, I got the putter. Uh oh. Uh... Looks like I'm not getting a birdie here unless I chip it in. Oh wait, no, I'm already on the fourth shot. I, I can't do it no matter what. Whoops. Whoops. Oh well. Another round then <laughs> in the future. I'm gonna have to replay it anyway for hole five, so yeah. Oh, 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 I got it. <laughs> well, that will do. Nine of their par through nine holes. I think we won, unless there's going to be three more days of tournament like a PGA Tour event, which I highly doubt. Woo! <laughs> it, that sure looks like a bronze trophy and not a gold trophy, though. I'm very suspicious of this, especially since Lucky is probably handling things here. Well, the competition has come to a close. A blue bandana guy got in third. We had some serious contention today. Before we get to the winner, we'll start with the losers. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Are they going to interview everyone before me? Because there was quite a few competitors. Hello, sir. You had an up and down game today. You played quite well early on. When things started going bad, you got crazy. <laughs> Just lost composure. We heard that you actually broke three of your clubs in half. <laughs> and threw an entire sleeve of balls in the river and raged. <laughs> How do you respond to this? A sleeve of balls is three balls in a box. Some sleeves have four, but most of the time they are three. And there's four sleeves in a box for a dozen balls. Yeah, mates. Just, you know, I played some good golf out there. Hit a few fairways, which is always nice. And then I didn't, and I destroyed everything I loved. But it was on point today, and I got a few birdies to chop, which always helps. Yes. But how do you respond to the accusations of violence? I, I wouldn't call that violence. It, it was just attacking his own club, not someone else. Always great playing. <laughs> just completely ignores it. In a few fairways, got some good putts to draw. There's a lot of good players in this field, so you can't take any putt for granted. A pretty difficult day overall, but a good one. And I was lucky to see some putts drop. Thank you for the tell-all interview. You completely avoided my questions. See if you can get anything out of your one, <laughs> out of your one mic. <laughs> Interviewer noticed that Lucky, as a club owner, some find it a conflict of interest that you are competing here today, especially when taken with the fact that you cheated on most of the holes. <laughs> 
How did he get second if he cheated? Shouldn't he got like a disqualification? <laughs> you think this blatant disregard for the rules is bad for golf? I had a good round, hit some fairways, which is always nice. Kicked my ball out of the deep rough. I mean, hit my ball out of the deep rough. And no one was looking. I thought I'd be in contentious for lead until I missed a few short putts, but hey, what are you gonna do? You can try answering my question. Wait, we finished. Wait, what do you mean? You thought you would be in contention for the lead, but I was ahead of you for most. The, actually, the whole thing. Or, or maybe because you started before me and you thought that you would have good results. I should say winning results before I got there. Anyway, you could try answering my question. Sure thing. It was a great day out there today. Great weather, great golf. It was a tough field out there and I have all the respect in the world for these athletes. And I'm not going to answer your question either. It could have been anybody's tournament today, Glenn. My name's Mike. <laughs> Back to you, Tucker. I'm not bothering with the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go speak to the vengeful wife again. <laughs> yes, she brings up the ratings. I had something good to say. I bet you did. <laughs> Look at you up there. I can see this is all going to your head already. Have some dignity for once. <sighs> ah, you showed some good form early on today. But I heard you hit it into the water on the 7th. A record eight times. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a lapse in concentration. Do you think you can you aren't cut out to play at this level, or do you put it down to poor preparation? I expect some rage. The conditions here are terrible! Lucky should be ashamed of himself for presenting such a terrible course. <laughs> it probably doesn't help that I had to mow the course myself before the tournament. <laughs> How many professional athletes can say that? Maybe I'm just tired from pushing a mower around. A riveting tale. <laughs> well, I pushed a mower around too, you know. Now it's time for the payout, which is frankly obscene for such a low-class event. <laughs> oh! Don't forget, I get half. No, you don't! Oh, you do. 10% off the gross goes to the cars. No, it doesn't! Oh, it does. Don't forget to give old coach a taste. No, coach, you refuse to take me as your student! Oh, you got a taste. Don't feel obliged, but I, uh, you know, I did give you some lessons, so would you mind giving me a little chip into the jar? Well, no. Oh, I did! <laughs> Lara's like, ah. And I think I called her Lana before. No, it's Lara. Look at you, vultures! Have some self respect I agree. How could you stand there and beg for money you didn't earn? Doesn't that make you feel bad? You're gonna be like, nope. Hmm. Okay, maybe some of them. This is a really nice mower I'd like to buy. Oh, no! <laughs> well, there goes the rest of our cash. Yep. <laughs> I wonder if there's still enough here to pay off my microwave. <laughs> maybe next tournament we'll have enough winnings to... You know, maybe get some of the other collectibles in the game, and maybe our microwave. But who cares about that? I won. I'm one step closer to the Pro Tour. That is true. The title is more important than anything. But those vultures are pretty horrible. <laughs> if my short game was better, I'd have beaten you, and you know it. My long game was pretty good today, though. You played well. There's something I wish I'd told you both before the tournament. And that mole. Could that mole be spying on us for someone else? Nah, probably not. <laughs> I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Far too many mistakes. Both as a coach and as a man. But I know that you won't be one of them. And through you, I might be vindicated. So I'm here to the very end. That means a lot to me, coach. Now give me my money back. I'm still going to work hard to earn your respect. Oh, stop it, you two. Coach, we all lose a little respect for you when you talk like that. This is embarrassing. Have some integrity, please. Dup -dup -dup. How does it feel to win? Incredible. It was easy, though. <laughs> I feel indestructible right now. Like I could do anything. You won. It's up to you. How should we celebrate? I know just the thing. Sausage roll. Sausage roll? I bet you it's a sausage roll. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Look at all these boxes. Wait, do we... Are they moving or something? What? You'll have to check them all until you find the glove. Oh, what? 
I think the adrenaline is starting to wear off. I'm realizing this was a bad idea. <laughs> what? Like, who's moving what with boxes? Like, who's help? This isn't Coach's house, is it? What's the big deal? The glove is yours, and you know it. Just find it fast so we don't get caught. Oh, so we're in like a storage area. <laughs> okay, uh, oh. I, I want to talk to you again really quick. Oh, I... No gloves in here. Oh, that's oh that's just me. I can't talk to you? Okay, so... Yeah, who's, whose house is this that we're, that we're pill pillaging here? <laughs> Piano stuff, yes, of course. I got to learn how to play this. Or is this my house? I no, no, it's not. It couldn't be my elf magazines. Yeah, who's whose is this? Can I? I can't go yet. Okay, <laughs> not this one. Nope. Maybe it's under the table. No, okay. it's probably the one like in the farthest right corner. A couple of jousting sticks. What? <laughs> You're doing some medieval war reenactments with horses and suits of armor and stuff like that. Yes. Yes, or mango said anyone rightly need. <laughs> uh, I bet the glove's gonna be in there. So I, I just I want to open everything before I I f f okay that 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 helps to make up my uh, losses in the tournament. <laughs> A book about owls. Yes, always got to have one of those around. Empty, empty. When did I buy this? Nothing. Well, actually, I bet. Do you think maybe that there won't be any glove in any box, and someone already swiped it, and we gotta find it? Like, so we gotta find the thief or something like that. Any leftovers thrown in the pot? No. Okay. <laughs> Two books and a pen. Oh, we wait. Hold on. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, probably mine. <laughs> they there took my winnings anyway. So whoever's house is this, it's like everyone takes for everyone else. Everything's okay. <laughs> Kitchen stuff, of course. Cups, empty. Plates, empty. No silverware. Oh, look, it's a frisbee. Oh, no, it's not a frisbee. It's a disc. It's a disc. Nope. Dad's glove. Okay, I found it. Got it. Time to go. Found Dad's old glove. Now you can do a power shot during golf rounds. Woo! Oh, so I can check the rest of the stuff. Oh, cool. Cool. Uh, oh, she's gone. Ah, uh, hold on a sec. Do I have to equip the... Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. You're not as boring as I originally thought. <laughs> well, before I get into the next portion of the story, I see that we're in, like, getting into 20 minutes of recording here, so I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part, and see where the story takes us.